Hey, Broken World Entertainment. And yes, I've got a cold again. So bear with the voice. But Velma, the HBO Max new prequel to Scooby-Doo, has hit and is not going down well with anyone, fans and critics. As it currently sits on Rotten Tomatoes, take that for what you will, with a score of a mere 55% from critics. <laughs> and it should be noted as well with the critics that only 20 don't even bother to review this thing. And it's standing at a 6%. It's dropped again to 6% with the fan score. And a lot of people are saying the same thing really about it that is pretty much mean-spirited and just so unfunny but of course there is already some finger pointing saying no it's you racist fans like screen rant <laughs> screen rant jesus coming out saying scooby-doo spin-off velma show review bond on imdb and rotten tomatoes and they write Velma, a Scooby-Doo animated spin-off. They should really just leave out the Scooby-Doo part because Scooby-Doo is not in it. And it's nothing like Scooby-Doo. But they say it's being brutally review bombed on both IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes in the wake of its release. Okay, but why are you only taking shots at the fan base and not the critics? all of the 20 critics who even bothered to review this thing and almost all of them hate the bloody thing so, but let's look at some of what the fans say first because some of it's funny but some of it really gives you the indication so here's the first one Half Star says have seen better train crashes <laughs> so yeah Um. There's one star, not funny, didn't laugh. At least the other Scooby-Doo shows were funny. This is like being subject to visual cancer. Here's another half star. The character, Velma, has just been destroyed. Nothing of Velma left. Zero out of ten. Uh, here's a half star. This one's interesting. Loved the original and was looking forward to watching this with my granddaughters. It was terrible. The original was funny. Despite all characters being very different individuals, it taught teamwork. This was so mean-spirited. The main character just did things on her own. Why do modern writers think that it's more important what people are? And he highlights skin color, sex, whatever. Rather than what they do or say. Don't think I'm sad about in that review is that he didn't uh, put in anything about the granddaughters like did they start watching it and go oh shit this isn't for kids here's another half star an unfortunate attempt to bring a beloved classic to life with an edgy new twist that falls hard on its face Velma won't bring you nearly enough laughs and trills as it does cringe moments that will leave you scratching your head and reaching for the remote control to change the channel another half star except for the names nothing about this is scooby-doo please just make something new instead of plastering the name of a well-loved franchise on your stories i don't usually do this but i warn everyone who might read this and encourage you not to watch this it will destroy your childhood memories of Scooby-Doo. That's an interesting one. Another half star. Any show would be more worth your time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's more than... Here's, here's an interesting one. Because they get a bit of wrong... And what it was meant to be. 
but their sentiment is still there. It was supposed to be about Scooby-Doo and the gang. It actually never was meant to be about Scooby-Doo, but we instead got to see Mindy's life story in frustrations. <laughs> it's literally a self-insert. There's another half star. It's bad. The jokes are unfunny, and the show is a prime example of someone trying to make a good show that's up to society's standards. Just sad and cringe. There's just... It goes on and on with that. But there's more, of course. Here's a good review. Here's someone who gave it four and a half stars. Hilariously meta and lots of fun. And from what I can see, an equal opportunity offender. Okay. Here's a one star. This show really is as bad as everyone says it is. I'm not trying to jump on the hate bandwagon here. The writing in this show is truly awful. I did not laugh at any of the jokes in the first two episodes. It's hard to even describe how bad it is. I'm just at a loss for words. Here's a half star. Absolutely terrible. I thought... No way can all the rumours about this be true. But it's like a greatest hits of all awful cliches of modern Hollywood. <coughs> it's all here and out front. And if you were wondering who the butt of every joke would be, your guess is probably correct. Here's another one. How star toxic and mean spirited. Who was this show even for? Another half star. The Witcher Blood Origin. I'm the worst modern TV series you will ever see. Velma. Hold my Scooby Snacks. Here's a three star one. It's crass but sort of funny. I don't get the hallucinogenic storyline. Okay. But that's some of what the fans have been saying. Let's see what the critics were saying, shall we? Because here's the first surprising entry into the Hey category of the show. Entertainment Weekly, who wrote, Velma mostly replaces the old silly sensibility with crass named droopy pointlessness. The Chicago Sun-Times top critic. Jokes become exhausting in the meta, not for kids Scooby-Doo prequel. Here's a shocker one. The Rap. Who writes. You have to wonder. In the development of Velma. Where did everything go so horribly wrong? You greenlit it. That's where it went horribly wrong. Variety. Variety hate this thing. It's been done before. And much better. Using unique takes on the gang. That maintained their essence. So Velma is never a ground, as groundbreaking as it seems to think it is. More than that, these characters are just really unpleasant to spend time with. That was from Variety. <laughs> the Hollywood Reporter. The shill of shills. Too much meta humour, not enough heart. It's, it's like... There you go. It's just a disaster. But of course, as per usual, some of them are out there trying to point the finger saying, oh, it's because racist. Fan. No, it's because it's god awful. <coughs> Pure and simple. God awful, unfunny, cringy, self insert, just mean spirited and disgusting. And I don't know why anyone approved this and why anyone would watch it and how anyone could enjoy it. It's a disaster. And it doesn't matter that Mindy Kaling was out there going, we're the top number one animated show on HBO Max ever. Okay, a few things take away there. Number one, you were the top animated show ever for one day. And you were the top animated show 
yippee. So all in all, it's a failure. Everyone hates it. Everyone. Critics and fans. There's already rumours of a season two. If there's a season two, it's only because the episodes were already made. It's And that thing, I think, scores could be as little as two or three percent. Anyway, with that, I'll leave it here for this one. Cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.